Hello, welcome back to Learn JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the arrays section. This is nested arrays. Earlier, we mentioned that arrays can store other arrays. When an array contains another array, it's known as a nested array. Examine the example below. We have this const nested r, and it's an array that contains two arrays, the first array with the value 1 and the second array with the value 2 and 3. To access the nested array, we can use bracket notation with the index value just like we did to access any other element. So here's our array again. When we log out nested r index 1, it will give us the array with 2 and 3 in it. Notice that nested r index 1 will grab the element in index 1, which is the array 2 and 3. Then if we wanted to access the elements within the nested array, we can chain or add on more bracket notation with index values. So here we have our array. If we log nested r, we output 2 and 3. And if we want to access that 2, we would say nested r index 1 and then index 0, which would be the 2. In the second console log statement, we have two bracket notations chained to nested r. We know that nested r index 1 is the array 2 and 3. Then to grab the first element from that array, we use nested r index 1 and then index 0, and we get the value of 2. Our instructions say let's make a nested array. Create a variable, number clusters, assign as its value an array with three array elements. First array element should hold the elements 1 and 2 in that order. The second array element should hold the elements 3 and 4 in that order. The third array element should hold the elements 5 and 6 in that order. So let's zoom out. We'll start off creating the variable number clusters and we're going to assign its values an array with three array elements. Let's go here and do that. And that's an array with three array elements in it. The first array element should hold the elements one and two, second three and four, third five and six. Let's do that. Okay, zoom out and run that. We passed. Let's go to two. Awesome, you made a nested array. Now declare a variable named target using the const keyword and assign to access the element six inside number clusters. So let's go here. So to access the element six, we would say zero index one two so we would first access two and the number five is zero so the six would be one and this should access the number six we could even log it just to make sure run it and we do get six so we are targeting the correct number the important thing with nested arrays is just understanding that arrays are zero index. So once you're in your second array, you would just target the element you want there and chain it the way we did here to access what's inside of that array. If you're understanding that, you guys are getting nested arrays, and I'll see you in the next lesson.